Sit. 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 Good. Sit. Okay. Good boy. Now there's one more thing that we will uh, address right quick on this second video. Um, <clears throat> there are different people that believe different things when it comes to bike work. Uh, police officers uh, tend to, to think one way, uh, and all of them don't think the same way, but it's a different way than the normal person. Sport dog people think another way. Uh, you know, shoot some people think one way, ring people think one way, and they, hey, they all have their opinions, and that's fine. Um, this dog, as you can see on some of the videos, he's uh, on this video on the last one, he'll munch on that bike from time to time, and as the dog gets older, uh, and develops and we see how he goes and what's his natural way uh, to do some things Every time that that dog opens and closes his mouth I guarantee you the person that he's biting knows it and I guarantee you he'll put as many holes in that person as possible Now some people may not like the way that sounds uh, But the truth is the truth and a bite is a bite um, When it comes down to it and your life is on the line uh, You don't care how many times that dog bites that guy uh, how many holes he put in them uh, it is what it is and that's how that goes um, so we don't encourage them to uh, munch on a bite or be a typewriter type dog uh, we want them to bite and uh, hold on and if they have to counter or the counter bite presents itself we certainly want them to counter the bite and counter it and 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 bite something else they go from the leg to the arm to the back to the crouch uh, wherever toenail big toe little toe it doesn't matter uh, every time he puts his teeth on him, that bad guy, I can promise you, that bad guy doesn't know anything about that dog chomping on a bite, uh, typewriter biting, uh, uh, biting and holding, uh, or biting and staying locked in on a bite. That bad guy just knows his ass is dog bit. Uh, excuse my French. Um, but with that being said, we want a dog to put his teeth on him. I don't care where he puts his teeth on him, in his face, in his back, the back of his head, the back of his neck, the back of his leg, the back of his arm. Uh, and when my life is on the line, or one of my clients' life is on the line, we and they don't care where that dog uh, does it. Um, and as many holes as he can put in the guy, if that be the case, then put him in there. It just gives the doctors um, a lot of holes to patch up on that guy. Uh, I'm not saying that to be... Uh, to be... Uh, braggadocious or whatever but in this day and time with the criminal element being as it is uh we want that dog to inflict as much punishment uh as possible so we can get to safety uh make a phone call or get to our uh other form of self-defense um we'll let the dog do the fighting for us until we can get to safety or get to our other means of uh, self-defense but you know, uh, I just wanted to clear that up for some people. A dog munching on a bite, a lot of people don't like to see that. But there are some dogs that are just not natural deep biters, but they will bite. And that being the case with a lot of dogs out there. Uh, as long as he doesn't come off of you, or if he comes off a bite, and if you can throw him off a bite and he shreds your arm apart, and it looks like uh, noodles, by the time he gets off of your arm, it's all good. It's all good because I guarantee you he'll pop an artery or he'll shred your arm up and it'll take a lot of work for a doctor to put that back together. Uh, so that being the case, I just wanted to clear that up and I'm pretty sure some of the trainers disagree with that theory. But uh, like I said before in the last video, and I've said it a, a thousand times, uh, I'm an old style trainer, but uh, I've just found that stuff to hold true uh, throughout my uh, dog training career. Um, and we want a dog to bite when we say bite. Doesn't care that, who's in front of them. A midget, a oh, little person to be uh, correct, but I've never been politically correct, and I really don't care about that part. Uh, black, white, Puerto Rican, whatever. Doesn't, doesn't matter. A bite is a bite. Tall people, short people, fat people, skinny people. You can have a mask on, not have a mask on. Uh, by the time we send a dog uh, at you, it doesn't matter what you have on, it doesn't matter what's around because we've taught that dog all other things being said or understood and maybe some people don't understand but all things being said and understood when we send a dog at a bite uh at that stage of training when we figure that the dog is done uh, or he's at a stage where he needs to be finished or what we call as a finished dog 
there's nothing that we think that will phase the dog. So we can shoot him at, uh, point him and go, and let him go, and whatever you throw at him, the dog will be at that point able to handle it. And if not, then I'm there to make sure that you don't hurt my dog. That's what I think a lot of people get uh, confused with. Um, I'm not going to let you beat my dog to death. I'm not going to let you hurt him. Uh, if I send that dog uh, and my life is on the line, uh, well, sometimes some people don't like to hear it, but then there may be a sacrifice or what have you. But most police officers, a lot of them get in trouble because they send their dog in unsafe environments uh, and they let the dog uh, uh, take some unnecessary punishment or get hurt. But there are a lot of police officers that do it right and that's trained correctly. When they put their dog on, if they sell on a guy, a perpetrator, and that guy starts to hit the dog or hurt the dog, that officer is there to help that dog out uh, and, and save that dog's life and not let that dog take so much of a punishment. Uh, and some people, some guys that train dogs, they may not know that. And I may be giving away too much information. But uh, I don't mind it because uh, just because I talk about it and say a few things, that don't mean everybody can go out and execute those things. So, um, and you can see this dog has been playing with this now here, six, seven minutes into this video. And uh, he's just having a ball, man. His tail is up, he's confident, he's walking around and we'll just let him hang out. So that's how that stuff goes. So we'll let that go and that'll be that. This is a uh, K910 and he's a, uh, so far he's a working machine and he's everything that we look for.